So today we're going to find out what the muzzle velocity is in my Glock 30 Gen 4. I got my Pro Chrono DLX out here. This is the first time I've used it, but I put some new reloads together uh, for the 45 ACP, and we're going to find out what it is. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to fall uh, with the reloading data between 700 and 70 feet per second to 800 feet per second, but uh, let's see what happens. I got it set up, and uh, we're going to fire four shots and see what the velocity is for those. Hopefully this will take. Again, it's the first time I've used it, so we'll see what happens. My goal is to not to shoot the, uh, the machine itself, but let's see. So, <clears throat> the four shots, a little faster than what I thought it would be. The first one was 920. The second one was 943. The third was 917. And the fourth was 911. Little faster. The, the data was calling. So, what I set up is I'm using universal grain, 5.2 grains. Uh, my overall length, I'm using a 230 bullet. My overall length is 1.200. Uh, the loading data calls this to be around 770 uh, feet per second. And then if you go to a maximum of 5.6, uh, then of course the velocity is more around 800. So I'm very curious of why these are uh, kind of put in around 900 feet per second, which is pretty hot for a, a 45 ACP. They, they feel, they, when I first shot it, it felt a little hotter. So uh, very curious because I, I follow the power, powder loads, um, everything's within the specs. But uh, the good part is it's good to see that at least there's, there's not too big of a variance uh, between those. So I'm going to load up four more and uh, see what I get from those. Hard to get out of the in case. So let's see what this next set is. Here we go. Four more. Eight hundred ninety-seven. Uh, so very interesting. I'm using miscellaneous brass, um, Remington uh, jacketed, just round point, two thirty grain. Um, again, five point two. So uh, I was hoping to see low eight hundreds, but it's interesting that uh, I'm consistently seeing high eight hundreds and uh, low nine hundreds on this. And shoot, you can see this is this is about eh, probably eight feet away. So the chrono is actually about eight foot away from the muzzle itself. Let's try four more and uh, see where we're sitting with those. Eight hundred nine. Nine hundred eighteen. Nine hundred eighteen. Eight hundred ninety-eight. So interesting. So here's what it looks like so far in the shooting data. And again, I'm very curious of uh, the pressure on those. The so looking at the, the bullet seating, you know, the recommended was, was 1.200 for a minimum overall length for the COL, the 
the cartridge overall length. But uh, I'm curious if I set that a little higher, um, what it would do to the pressure. But I mean, you can see, let's see one of the bullets. It, to me, they look like they're sunk a little far down. But uh, here's what they look like. Uh, I would have liked to seen a little more headspace or a little more uh, bullets sticking out. Um, I'm not sure if that would, looking at the powder that I put in, this wouldn't be a compressed at all. So very interesting of what I'm getting. I might go ahead and try to reload a few more. I was looking at the SAMI standards and I think it's 1.275 is maybe the max, um, the max uh, uh, COL uh, for the bullet. But uh, we'll try four more just to get the data on it, and then we'll we'll see what else we, we got. Maybe we'll, like I said, try some different reloads and uh, see. Because that just it seems a little, that pressure seems to be up there. Or I should say the feet per second seem to be up there a little higher than what I uh, anticipated it would be. Again, it's the first time using this. Uh, luckily, they say these kernels work really good on a cloudy day. I have the diffusers on uh, just for the heck of it, um, just to put it all together. But uh, I got great conditions, uh, so I should be getting probably, hopefully, the optimal readings on these. Uh, from what I'm seeing, you know, it's not giving any kind of error, but it's looking like it's doing a great job. Now, let's see. Last four. Let's see where this puts us. That was 907. That was 885. That was 924. And that was 906. So there's some initial data to go off of. Uh, I loaded about 68 of these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to tweak it a little bit because I just think those numbers are just a little off from, from the data on the sheet that just seems a little high. So I don't know if that seating's causing it, but uh, we'll make a few adjustments, maybe come back out this and uh, come out here and try it again so before i go in there and, and uh, reload uh, some other ones uh, kind of changing that overall length i'm going to shoot some factory ammo so i found four rounds of just your your run of the mill 230 grain uh, factory ammo and i'm going to see what it's putting out so let's see here got everything connected up all right let's see what we got That was 770. 775. 775. Or 755. 761. 758. 758. So as you can see, definitely a hundred feet per second difference there averaging across those very interesting so I'm gonna go in there and adjust the reloading a bit um, I'm gonna check my crimp uh, adjust my overall length I think I'm going to go ahead and do it to 1.25 so I'm gonna make four rounds with uh, 1.25 and then we'll see where that lies all right I just got back from the reloading table and um, I went ahead and adjusted the overall length to 1.255. So going from 1.200 to 1.255, and I didn't put a crimp on it. So we're gonna see what this does to the velocity. Same powder, same everything. Let's see. Eight hundred and sixty-two. Eight hundred sixty-two. Eight hundred forty. Eight hundred and forty. Eight hundred thirty-seven. Eight hundred twenty-seven. Eight twenty-seven. Eight thirty-four. Eight hundred thirty-four. Eight hundred seventy-one. Eight hundred thirty-nine. Eight hundred thirty-nine. So that's what we have with these um, ones that I just loaded. Interesting. So we're still 
870, 830, 827, 837, 840. We're not seeing the high, we're not seeing the 900s. And we're not seeing high 800s. Well, 871 is pretty high. But um, there's quite a bit of variance in there too, which is interesting. So that was adjusting the overall length to 1.255 and putting no crimp on it. Same bullet, same powder to uh, see if we made any difference on this. Hmm. So I might bump the powder down to the min load, which is uh, 5.1. Now I know a lot of these muzzle velocities come out with a five inch barrel. Uh, the Glock that I'm using, of course, is uh, I think a 3.75 or something. So it's not it's not a five inch barrel, but uh, in retrospect, you think it would uh, make them a little lower. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and bump it to. Um, We'll go to 5.1 and see what happens. Uh, I'll load about seven more, eight more, and we'll see what happens. Learning today. All right, just got back from the reloading table. So what I've done this time is I'm still at 1.255 overall length. I bumped the powder down to, you know, it's universal, to 5.1. And uh, we'll see if this changes anything on the velocity. Let's see what it changes. We know it's gonna change something, but uh, what kind of impact is it gonna have? Seven fifty four. Seven fifty three. Seven hundred fifty three. Seven hundred twenty one. Seven hundred twenty one. Seven twenty one. Seven hundred fifty five. Seven hundred twenty. Seven forty five. Seven hundred forty five. 758. That's exactly what I think I. That's exactly what I expect to be seeing. So, the data again on the sheet was 770, and then you know since that's probably out of a five-inch barrel, um, for 5.1, I think that's spot on. So even with uh, the higher loads, you know, I think I'm still still good uh, with the reloading. But I really like this one. So. This is staying close um, in the mid 700s, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just move forward with that load. It's a nice, comfortable load. Um, you know, 758 on the last one, 745, 720, 755. Uh, it seemed pretty consistent. And again, that's uh, 5.1 grains of uh, universal, 230 grain round point, uh, jacketed, and then uh, miscellaneous brass with uh, CCI primers. So yeah, I need to get this uh, chrono out a little more and start playing with my 9mm and my 223s. Uh, if you found this beneficial, you know, or if you have some kind of data you want to share, uh, please feel free to, to put the information in the comments and we can talk about it. But yeah, this, again, this is the first time that I've, that I've actually started looking um, at the data. I've, I've had this for a while and been reloading for a long time, but really never sat down to see if I was, see the results I was getting, the actual tangible results. Uh, from a chronograph. If you don't have them, have one. I mean, they're not too expensive, but I think they're invaluable uh, if you're a reloader. Thank you for watching. If you want, like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate your time and take care. Bye.